On today's episode of The Joy of Editing, I'm continuing to look at all of the filters found in Nick Color Effects, part of the Nick Collection. Today, it's the Brilliance Warmth Filter. This happens to be one of my favorites. I'll be working on three different images just to give you an idea of what can be done with this filter. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you for joining me again today. I'll be working on three different images just to try out this Brilliance Warmth filter, just to see what kind of results we can get. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Before we get started, I want you to know there's a sale going on right now. We're in the holiday season, and of course, we have a sale going on from DxO. You can buy two pieces of software, and you'll get 30% off when you do that. Now, that goes for their entire packages of software. Just click on my affiliate link in the description below this video. It'll take you right to the cell. When you use my link, I make a small commission, and this helps the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. You're supporting this channel, and for that, I thank you, and happy holidays out there to everyone. Let's take a look at the Color Effects User's Guide and find out about the Brilliance Warmth Filter. It lets you control the brightness of the color within the photo and give it a warm or cool tone. Now, there's three adjustments, saturation, warmth, and perceptual saturation. The saturation adjustment is nothing more than a basic saturation adjustment. Now, there's a warmth adjustment, and it adjusts the color temperature of the photo. Move the slider to the left to cool the colors, adding a blue cast, or to the right to warm them up, adding a red cast. And next, we have perceptual saturation. Although it does not directly increase the saturation of colors, this slider alters the hue slightly to increase the perception of saturation of the corresponding colors. To achieve this, the complementary color component is increased in the surrounding colors, which affects the eye's perception of the colors. This process's operating principle is similar to that of perceptual contrast, where the contrast seems to increase when the image is placed against the black background. And we've seen that in other of the Nick filters if you've watched my past videos. Are you ready to have some fun? Let's jump into the first image. Now, I have three stock images, as I said, and I chose the ones that I did because I felt the Brilliance Warm filter would lend itself really well to these images. So let's go ahead and launch it. Now, all we need to do is come up here to File and come here to Automate and we can open up the Nick Selective tool and we can launch it right here by clicking on Color Effects Pro 5 or you could come up here to Filter and come to where your Nick filters live in the Nick collection and you can launch Color Effects Pro 5 there. I like to use the Nick Selective tool because it lets you save out favorite filters. You can star a filter and it'll show up in your filters list here. So I can either click right here or click on the Brilliance Warmth I've already saved it out because it is one of my favorite filters. I'll click on Brilliance Warmth and that'll launch Nick Color Effects Pro. And as you can see, it has applied the Brilliance Warmth filter. Now it doesn't apply anything to the image from the start. There's no default settings. So if I shut this filter off, you can see there's no change at all. Now if I take the saturation, it's nothing more than a saturation adjustment. You can give it more or less saturation. You could double click this to reset it. But here's where the magic comes in with this filter. It's this warmth coolness slider. So if you want to cool the image down, move it to the left, and you can add a beautiful coolness to your image. But on an image like this, let me double click it, I think it would look really nice with some warmth. So let's add some warmth to the image. In fact, I'm going to take it up a good bit right around there. And just to finish it off, let's add some saturation. So let's increase that saturation to somewhere right around there. And now that looks really nice. Now let's play with the perceptual saturation adjustment. Remember, it affects the eye's perception of the colors. So let's start to drag it to the right and watch the image. I'll take it the whole way to the right. But you can see it is playing with those colors in there. Now if I go the whole way over to the right, that's way too much. But maybe just a little bit of that to maybe right around here. I think I think that helps out right there. Now here's our overall before, here's our before, and here's our after. But look at that nice warmth, the nice uh, glowing look of this image right now. I love it with the warmth on there. And I think that perceptual saturation did help out. I really like the result on this image. Let's go ahead and click apply and that'll send us right back into Photoshop. Let's take a look. We started out here. 
and we end up here. And remember, you always have an opacity adjustment in Photoshop. You could pull this back a little bit if you felt your effect was too strong. And I might just pull it back to, I don't know, maybe 86%. Here's the before and here's the after. Let's go on to the next image. With the next selective tool, I'll click on Brilliance Warmth. We'll launch Color Effects Pro and we'll be right at the Brilliance Warmth filter here. As you can see, no adjustment. Now, I think this image could definitely use some warmth. I'll, I'll cool it off first, just to show you. Yeah, I don't like the coolness. Depending what kind of a look you're looking for, you may want a more somber look. You could cool it, but I think I want to warm it up, and I'll warm it up a good bit. And right around there looks really nice. I like that. Here's the before. Here's the after. Now, I think it could use a little bit more saturation, so let's try to increase the saturation. It's a really simple filter to use, but just be careful you don't overdo things. Maybe right about there. And let's play with the perceptual saturation. Let's see what we can bring out here. Let's move this to the right. Now, if I go too far, it'll look weird. So you got to be careful there. But let me start again here. I'm just going to start to move it to the right a little bit. I don't want to go too much, but maybe just a little tiny bit, maybe somewhere right around there. Here's the before and here is the after. Again, the before and the after. I may pull back in the saturation just a little bit. I think I'm a little too strong on there. So maybe to around like 30%, the before and the after. And I think it really helps out this image. I may just pull back on the perceptual just a little bit. I might be a little too strong. Maybe somewhere right around there. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And now here we are back in Photoshop. So let's take a look. Here is the before. Let me move this out of the way. Here is the before, and now here is the after. So I think it really helped that image out, and I like it. Now I have one final image for you, and I'm going to do something a little different with this one here. So let's go ahead and launch the Brilliance Warmth Filter. On this one, I already have a lot of warmth in the bird and on the background here. So what I think I'll do is really cool this one down. So I'm going to take the warm slider and drag it to the left. In fact, I think I'll take it the whole way to the left, just like that. Let me see. I might add a little bit more saturation, just a tiny little bit, not much. Maybe 18%. We'll start out with that. But here's what I want to do here. I want to use a negative control point. Okay, so let's click on this and click on this bird right here, this color right here. And I'll make this circle of influence a little bit larger, just somewhere right around in there. Now we can see what that mask looks like if we click right here. And you can see the mask is doing a really nice job. So click again, we can see it back. But what I like about this image is all the blue in the background. The background has gotten more on the bluer side of things, cooled off. And now with the warm colors on the bird and some of these areas out in here, I think that looks really nice. Here is the before and here is the after. I love the overall look of the image. I'm not going to mess with the perceptual saturation because I like it just the way it is. So I'm going to click apply and that'll send us back into Photoshop. And now here we are in Photoshop. Here is the before and here is the after. And I think that really helps this image out. Well, there it is, everyone. That was the Brilliance Warmth Filter found in Nick Color Effects Pro give it a try. Hey, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.